We are still at home, a little tense, nervous about this situation, about this quarantine, but relax. I'm going to explain today how to take things easy to come out triumphant from this situation. Happy present moment and welcome to Janet Salvatierra TV. I'm your hostess, Janet Salvatierra. Right now, staying at home, since we uh, must protect our health, uh, it has made us only resign to some of the habits we already have to reduce stress, like, like uh, going out with, to share with friends, visit a park or a green area, or receive the hugs of siblings or your granny. So we don't have anything to, to cope, but lay hold to healthy mental habits. Perhaps you are already an accomplished meditator or such a positive person that you don't need more to you know to help you reduce stress congratulations this is if this is your case but if you still need a little help to effectively manage stress especially in this unusual situation today i will bring you a, a few ideas uh, around gratitude and where gratitude will help you to reduce anxiety, boredom, negative thoughts uh, of uh, envy or anguish because your services, your products uh, will maybe no longer be necessary and you can lose your, your company or your job. But first, I'm going to tell you a true story so you can understand me more easily. Conversing today with, with one of my soul sisters, she will tell me what her family uh, uh, done to celebrate the, uh, the university graduation of one of their sons. This family is very big because in addition to many uncles and cousins, uh, well, they have uh, uh, adding honorary guys, as is the case of my husband and me. My son, who is also very close to, to her son, her son's bride or uh, her girlfriend and her, and her family and the university classmates that also graduated with my nephew. So my friend came out with um, uh, that since they can not throw a party with all of us because of the quarantine, they will make a video with the greetings of all the people she knew that her son will want to, to see them. So my friend and her husband asked us to record uh, around 30 seconds of a, or a, of a video uh, with a greeting and they took care of the editing. On the day of the celebration, only five people were physically present. The graduate, his, uh, his girlfriend, his older brother and parents. Together, they decorated the house, they attended the graduation ceremony, uh, which was an, um, a live uh, transmission or broadcast from the university via a web meeting. They shared a meal, the toast, and at the end, the final video they collect. Almost 30 minutes of greetings, songs, jokes from 120 people which is, in my opinion, a wonderful thing. But then we, we conclude that, that in normal conditions, very surely they didn't do, do anything of that. Because first, the typical university graduation is a massive event uh, where they, they mention the, the, the graduation, they, they, may, they mention your, your graduate uh, only let's say two, two seconds and that's it. And of course, later you can go to celebrate with a meal in a, in a restaurant, but probably in a hurry because the graduate wants to go to celebrate with his friends. So bless the quarantine, at least in this case. And the reality is 
that always, without exception, every situation in life can be seen from different, different perspectives. And it's up to you to decide which perspective, uh, which perspective so it suits you best. And you can decide to appreciate the moment gratefully or feel miserable because the, the thing didn't go as you was sound to, to do. To, to do. You know, in this case, the formal graduation ceremony was skipped, the photo with the cape and gown what was missing, uh, and a typical picture with the dean and the, and the roommates. Well, today, what I'm going to Today, what I'm going to invite you is basically to observe every situation you live in these days, every thought of anguish or, or despair, every stressful moment of confinement from a positive perspective, a, a perspective that can feel empowering and healing for you. Maybe you are thinking, mm, okay, well, and how do you do that? Don't worry, I'm telling you exactly what, what you have to do. Before continuing, uh, I will remind you to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notifications by clicking on the little bell, and if you enjoy it, like this video, so you can help me grow this channel to continue offering you content to help you achieve your goals of happiness and success personally and professionally. Okay, now, today's recommendations on how to use gratitude to help you feel better in times of pandemic. Even better, at any time in your life in which there is uncertainty, a lot of stress and anguish for the future. The first recommendation, as usual, it is to use the, your breath to return to your center. That is, that is to say, feel the sensations of your body and to be able to observe your thoughts with the greatest tranquility tranquility and detachment. Take your time. You may need to do three, six or more breaths. And remember to use diaphragmatic breathing so you can relax and focus your mind. Then try to observe the situation from a curious perspective. Um, open, very open to other possibilities, to other options. For example, if what you face is a loss, a lack of a person or, a, or, or an important object. Answer, what does this lack is teaching me? How can I substitute or, rem or remedy this uh, absence? Can I ask somebody from, for help to remedy this situation? If what you feel is anguish for the future, answer, can I be absolutely sure that only a catastrophic outcome is what is going to happen to me? Can other th things happen opposite to this that I'm anticipating and distress me? What can I do now, right now, to prevent that this uh, that that was distressing me, and rather enable the opposite to be? to be real or to happen? If what you feel is nervousness, ask. Is there any other activity I can do to eliminate this source of stress? What can I do to distract my mind? Uh, remember to, to look for something that is healthy for you and for the people around you. You may be wondering, where is, where is the gratitude in all this? <laughs> well, the answer is that gratitude is in your mind and also in your heart. The reason is that to enjoy gratitude benefits, you must, you must practice every day to be grateful in special conditions, but more importantly, 
under normal routine conditions. Thus, when circumstances change, and uh, not exactly in your favor, as in these examples, you are better prepared to respond assertively to the situation. The question that I mentioned in those examples, well, will occur to you naturally. You will be able to overcome more easily a stressful situation, the anguish, the crisis that you live in that moment when you practice gratitude daily. I can tell you this with total certainty because I have, I have verified it by myself, in my clients, and because there are, exa there are a lot of scientific proof made by psychologists, neurologists, on how gratitude affects our emotions, our body, and our attitude towards life. Gratitude is not only good for our personal well-being, for example, by protecting our mental health and make, it, make us to think more positively, uh, be more optimistic about the future. Also, gratitude will help you be more cooperative because grateful people are less selfish and show more empathy through others, usually, of course. <laughs> Gratitude will help you to, to also to strengthen your relationships and build a sense of community. Practicing gratitude helps people to get together to, tight, to, to work tightly, uh, encouraging, to, the, encouraging them to, to coordinate their actions towards a particular goal. Something very relevant in our current, current situation or the, with this quarantine and stay at home and all that. You may be thinking, well, being grateful for everything is almost impossible. <laughs> there are horrible things, horrible situations, so it's delusional, abs uh, absurd to want to thank for crimes and injustices. Well, that's true. And in those cases, gratitude is uh, also supported or is due in conjunction with other healthy mental habits such as detachment and forgiveness. Scientists and activists for gratitude, as George Truly, insist on recommend gratitude to help us neutralize the natural tendency of our mind to focus on the negative. Um, what scientists call the negativity bias. In another video, I will promise, I promise you to talk about this uh, fascination with the negativity that we humans have. Now, how will we become grateful? What to do to practice gratitude? The classic recommendation remains the same and is the best possible, which is keep the gratitude journal. Develop the, develop the, the habit of, of being grateful every day because of the good we have in our lives, regardless of, of size, how simple, how modest or, or complex and or, or luxurious it can be. At first, please write back by hand in your journal at least three or five things, uh, situations or people for you, for the one that you are grateful for, and do it at least three times a week. Although the work diary already indicates what is the best recommended th um, frequency, but if, uh, if you can go through events, fatigue, emergency and all that, gratitude is so beneficial that which uh, will it work with at least three annotations three times a week. Personal growth, as I want to say, either practicing spiritual exercises, performing the um, mental uh, routines, or caring for your physical health, must be that, routines, to prepare us for when the when we need those internal resources to cope with a stressful situation, to face difficult times. It's like strengthening your immune system with healthy, healthy food and exercises. So I, I, invited you, I invite you 
again to live gratefully, to practice gratitude daily, and if you want to facilitate the adoption of the habit of gratitude, you can read my book and follow its instructions. Cultivate good mental and spiritual habits in normal times will prepare us to successfully overcome the times of crisis. Thank you very much for watching. Blessings to you and your work, and see you soon in an upcoming episode of Janet Salvatierra TV.